I came down here to the bench, uh, I've been trying to think of something to do, uh, some way to experiment with the antennas, <laughs> new ideas. And uh, like the old uh, saying goes, if you want to figure something out or if you're having a hard time or you're stuck, stop thinking about it, and then the answer will just come to you. And that's what happens. You know, I just stopped thinking about it. And I was uh, just walking, taking a walk today, and I had this idea flash into my head. And I thought, well, let's try it out. It's just an experiment. It might not work. It might work. Who knows? A magnetic loop is, is physically like so. A big outer loop with a capacitor, variable capacitor, smaller coupling loop, or a gamma match, or a ferrite rod coupler, whatever. Um, basically, it is electrically a tuned circuit. Um, with a, uh, it's like a transformer, an air gap transformer with a primary and a secondary. It's a tuned circuit. I mean, that's what it is. And this just happens to radiate, right? This outer loop radiates. So if this is what it looks like in a schematic form, why not adapt this differently physically and see how it performs? You know? So this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to take a cylinder and I'm going to wind a coil on it bring one wire back down the middle and out so I can have a variable capacitor down here. So we, we're, we've got this. We've got an inductor with a variable capacitor across the end. And then I'm going to wind one-fifth the number of turns. I'm going to keep the same ratio. In a magnetic loop, this is one-fifth the diameter of this, right? So I'm going to keep the same ratio. I'm going to wind one-fifth the number of turns um, on the outside of the coil in the same direction. So clockwise for the primary winding, clockwise for the secondary winding. Um, and uh, hook my coax up to that. Now, electrically, it should work the same as the magnetic loop does, obviously. We'll have a tuned circuit, so it will become resonant on a frequency. The question is, will it pluck signals out of the air in receive mode very well? And how well will it radiate? How efficiently will it radiate? Physically, it would be smaller less wieldy than a big three-foot diameter loop. I mean, this could be about uh, maybe two feet tall, you know, and a couple inch diameter PVC, uh, maybe even less. You know, ferrite uh, rod antennas and AM receivers do quite well at uh, plucking magnetic signals out of the air. So maybe something about two, two feet tall uh, could be as efficient as that, only much more transportable more portable. So I'm going to build this and uh, see how it behaves. I've got some 2-inch PVC over there. I just need to get some wire. I've got a variable capacitor for it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get my parts together and uh, wind this sucker up and uh, we'll see what it does. Well, I've wound the coil. I've got a little wooden base I'm setting it on here. This is the variable capacitor I'm going to use. And this is the uh, inductor. So I've uh, moved that so you can see this. There's a little ground lug here. And then the wire goes around counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, uh, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five turns up the up the uh, <coughs> pipe. And right here in the middle, there's a ground lug here and a ground lug there, and you can see the white wire, and that's one, two, three, four, five. Five turns, so one-fifth the number of turns on the main inductor. So same ratio as I have in the uh, big magnetic loop. Um, the uh, 25 turns up at the top goes back down the middle of the pipe, straight run down, or it comes out down here. So I'm going to mount this capacitor like so, so we have nice short connections. This is going to connect to the one side of the capacitor. This is going to connect to the other side of the capacitor. Right there, nice short wires. And then up on the middle, where these two ground lugs are here, I'm going to connect a piece of coax that's going to come straight out and down, and down here on the corner of the base, 
I'm going to put a uh, SO239 connector and that will be the uh, antenna connection. Now we're moving right along. Got my coax stripped and I'm just uh, attaching it here to the connection points on the coil. These little ground lugs I set up. Got my connector mounted. Good solid electrical connection there. Okay. Now let's do the connector. Oh, I got that just the right length. How about that? Tin the lead. Make sure we got enough solder in the connector end here. Okay. One connection left to make, the braid. I have to rotate this guy around. All right, it's all wired up. All ready to hook up the antenna analyzer and see where it is resonant. Oh, with the capacitor. Yeah. Okay, with the capacitor fully meshed, I could probably remove a few turns from the uh, coil. I'm getting a uh, 1.5 to 1 at 2.6 megahertz. Let's move up. Let's get up into 80. Uh-oh. Halfway out on the cap. Oh, there it is. Okay, halfway out on the cap before I get into 80 meters. Yeah, I got too many turns on the uh, inductor. I don't think I'll be able to get up to 7 um, megahertz. Let's find out if I can get to 40 meters or not. Oh, just barely. All right. It looks like I can get up into... Yeah, I can get up into 40 meters. Okay, let's see, 7.3. Can I get all the way to the top of 40? Yep. All right, well, with 25 turns on the main inductor, it looks like it's covering 80 and 40 meters. That's pretty interesting for just such a small antenna. I might be onto something. Um, I've been broadcasting Whisper with it on uh, 40 meters and uh, at half a watt, 500 milliwatts, um, I was getting copied down in Tennessee and out on the East Coast, um, New Hampshire and uh, uh, one of the Carolinas uh, with half a watt from here in Indiana with this inside the house. So it does work, um, which is just intriguing as can be for me. So anywho, um, I'm going to refine it now. Uh, I've gathered enough data from this experimental build, this prototype, this proof of concept, <laughs> that uh, I, can, uh, I can move forward now. My target is going to be about a one and a half foot active area, maybe about like so. Uh, and I'm going to use a much heavier conductor for the outer winding. You know, magnetic loops, uh, for example, 
Uh, my magnetic loop here uses half inch copper pipe and 3 8 uh, for the coupling loop. And you want to keep that resistance, that electrical resistance on that outer loop as low as possible because tenths of an ohm matter. And so obviously on this thing I'm using thin wire, doorbell wire that I got at the hardware store which is relatively high, uh, relatively high resistance uh, and poor efficiency. And the same with the coupling loop, the white wire here is uh, the same light gauge stuff. So I'm going to redo this. Um, 25 turns is too many. Uh, with the capacitor only halfway meshed, I'm uh, just getting down to 80 meters. So I'm going to redo this with 10 turns of a much thicker, bigger, uh, and lower resistance conductor. And uh, probably going to use RG8 coax. And then two turns for the uh, coupling loop of uh, 3 8 inch uh, copper tubing. Um, so the, uh, the active part of the antenna is going to be about a foot and a half tall. And uh, I'll, I'll shift it down um, so I'm closer to the capacitor so I've got shorter electrical connections to it. And uh, yeah, it'll be about that tall. And I should be able to get it down to where it uh, ranges with this capacitor from 40 meters fully meshed out to uh, maybe 15 meters or 10 meters unmeshed. So I should be able to get a range comparable to what I get on my big three foot magnetic loop and hopefully about the same efficiency in a much smaller uh, form factor. More, more portable, smaller, and uh, well, it should be interesting. I haven't seen anybody do a build like this. So uh, anyway, watch for a future video, probably in a day or two, of the refined design and some on-air tests um, and hopefully successes of uh, this uh, bizarre uh, antenna concept. I don't know what to call it. Um, I haven't seen anyone do anything like this. I don't know. The resonator? How's that sound? Kind of ZZ Top-ish, but maybe I'll go with that. The resonator. Yeah, there we go. Sounds cool. <laughs> anyway, that's the progress on this uh, antenna concept and so far success. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.